Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 213 of Java for Tester series. That is abstract classes and their child classes. Abstract classes and their relationship between their child classes. Okay, child classes of the abstract classes. So guys, what will happen when you create a child class for an abstract class in Java? Okay, that thing I'm going to practically demonstrate in this video session. So guys, before I move to the practical mode, let me tell you that when you when you create a child class for an abstract class, that particular child class has to implement the abstract methods of abstract class. Okay, the child class of the given abstract class has to implement the abstract methods of the parent abstract class. Okay or if you if it doesn't want to implement then you have to make that child class also an abstract class okay we have to make the child class as an abstract class either we have to implement abstract methods of the abstract class parent abstract class or we have to make the child class as an abstract class that's the only two ways guys. So let me show you practically so that these things will be more clear for you. Let me create an abstract class and let's create a child class for that abstract class and show you what will happen. Okay. So let's create a kind of abstract class, uh, say class. And I will name this class as some class A. Okay. Class A. And uh, what I'll do is otherwise i will create something like animal class guys okay it will be better you can give any name here guys i will prefer animal here uh, i am just creating an animal uh, class and uh, what i am going to do here is i am going to make this class an abstract class okay by adding this abstract non access modifier for this class this class has now become an abstract class inside this abstract class let me create some methods okay so I'll create some abstract methods. Okay. So public void, public void eating. Okay. Eating is one method. So I want to make this an abstract. So I have to put an abstract uh, non access modifier before this method too, so that you don't have to create any body. So inside the abstract class, I'm creating some abstract methods. So I'll create another abstract method saying public, uh, abstract void sleeping okay so public void public void some animal i'm just creating some sample uh, method but this method i don't want to make abstract i can actually define it as you already know inside the abstract classes we can have both abstract methods and non abstract methods right so I'll just create some normal method. I'll say inside animal method of animal class done. Okay. So one abstract class I created with the two abstract methods and one non-abstract method. That's fine. So I want to create a child class for this animal class. Here animal class is an abstract class. Okay? So for this abstract class, I'm going to create a child class. Right click new class. Okay. I'll name this class as something like bird okay some bird class click on finish because bird is an animal right bird is an animal so i'm just uh, creating a class so i want to make this bird a child class of this animal abstract class so how to make this bird a child class of the animal abstract class you have to use a keyword known as extends i have to give animal okay when i say bird extends animal animal has become the parent class of the bird and bird has bird has become the child class of the animal class okay so inside this bird class, I'm getting a compiler error saying that this bird class, since this bird class is a child class of this uh, animal abstract class, this bird class has to implement this abstract methods of the animal class. Okay. The abstract methods of the animal parent class. The abstract methods of the parent animal abstract class has to be implemented inside this bird child class. So hover the mouse, you don't have to type everything. In Eclipse side, you can simply hover the mouse on the bird and say add unimplemented methods. All the methods will be appearing here. 
fine fine done so here inside this methods i will implement something like the system dot out dot print ln okay system dot out dot print ln i'll say inside otherwise i'll say bird is eating okay here i'll say system dot out dot print ln bird is sleeping like this okay so guys since i have implemented all the abstract methods okay since i have implemented all the abstract methods of this abstract uh, parent animal class okay the error should be resolved now when i save it you see there is no error okay so the child class of the abstract parent class has to implement all the abstract methods of the parent class right if you don't implement okay if you don't want to implement any of this abstract methods for example if the child class of this abstract parent class has only implemented the eating abstract method but there is another method known as sleeping here it is not implemented in that case guys what what is the other way i don't want to implement that particular abstract method inside this word class okay so in that case you have to other option here is you have to make this and make this bird class an abstract again okay either the child class has to implement all the abstract methods of the abstract parent class or the child class has to be made abstract type then only the error will be resolved so over the mouse either you implement the methods or you make this class also an abstract these are the two options guys okay these are the two options we have either we have to implement the methods of the abstract class or we have to we have to make this class child class also an abstract class so that this error will be resolved so who will implement now if you also if you are also making this uh, child class also an abstract class who will implement this sleeping method of this animal the answer here is if you create another child class say if i create another child class like uh, for bird i will create something like a parrot okay parrot you can give any names guys so that's fine okay click on finish there is another uh, class i am creating i am making this parrot uh, class a child class of this bird class which, which is actually a child class of this animal abstract class okay so extend if i say bird okay you see again i am getting a compiler error asking me to implement the unimplemented method of this animal dot sleeping that is sleeping abstract class i have to implement it saying so if the child class okay if the imitated child class of this animal uh, abstract parent class has not implemented any abstract methods then its child class the child class of the child class has to implement that okay if this is also not willing to do that again we have to make this parrot also an abstract case okay there are only two options okay either you have to make the child class an abstract class or you have to implement all the methods of the abstract parent class okay this chain will continue if you keep on making abstract the chain will continue so this is the relationship between the abstract classes and their child classes in java guys child classes uh, of the abstract classes have to implement all the abstract methods of the parent abstract class or the child classes have to be made abstract in order to carry forward that kind of nature okay so that's it guys uh, it's all about uh, abstract classes and their child classes in the next video session i'll continue with the abstract classes so that is i'm going to explain abstract classes and their method access modifiers okay abstract classes and their method access modifiers of those methods which are created inside the abstract class okay what kind of access modifiers we can specify before the methods that are created inside the abstract classes that thing i'm going to explain in the next video session guys so that's it guys see you in the next video session thank you bye